show you how to adjust the hopper level switch. This is the mechanical uh, switch. And so this feed uh, has not been, the feed has been piling up in this, in this uh, hopper switch. Uh, so, you know, when I trigger the, when I trigger the, the switch, I can hear it clicking, but yet the feed piles up. So one of the, one of the easy ways to find a, a good set point for this is when you hold the switch in what would be the position that it would be in the hopper. And then when you tilt that switch, the, you should actually hear the activation of the switch itself just by tilting it. That is a good starting point. This is adjustable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust this. So I'm gonna take this Phillips screw out of the top. I'm gonna remove this cover. And you'll see in behind, set this down. you'll see in behind here, we have uh, a series of nuts with a spring. And since this is not activating properly, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna loosen it. I'm gonna, you can see how, as I, as I move the, the switch, how it compresses the spring. So I'm gonna loosen this a little bit. And what I want is I want that to activate on its own and it still does not. So I'm gonna loosen it some more. And there you can see that I have, it activates on its own. I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit. And that's about where I want that switch as a starting point. Obviously different types of feed uh, may take a different setting, but this is adjustable. Make sure when you're when you're done adjusting this that you put the cover back on to keep any dirt and debris from getting back in the, the uh, activation point there and jamming things up and you know test it with feed uh, before before walking away from it. Hope that helps you understand how to adjust this. Thanks for joining.